Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to use MonoDevelop with a new UI component called Storyboards, which came part of um, iOS 5 and one of the later releases of 4.2 of Xcode. A storyboard basically is a one file that holds all the UI components of your application rather than having separate view controllers and separate zip files for each one of those um, UI um, views, as we would call them. And, you know, inside of our views live all of our controls and stuff. So um, the first video I'm going to do here is going to show you how to use a tab. Um, controller that's going to be the tab bar at the bottom black and we'll add a view to that so we can see how the interaction happens and then the video that I'm going to post after this will actually add on to the application and we'll add a navigation controller which is the blue bar at the top and we'll show you how to add um, views in and you can actually use both navigation components in the same application which prior to storyboards could sometimes be a little bit tricky, um, especially if you're coming from the Windows Forms um, side of the world and not really used to the um, world of iPhone development. So I'm going to start with Mono Develop, and with this I have one of the latest releases as of today, um, which is uh, three four or three zero four six, excuse me, and just kind of giving you that so you make sure that you're on at least the same version of this in order for this to work. Um, I'm going to go to File, new and solution. I'm going to build a new solution to store our program in. And I'm going to select C Sharp, Mono Touch, and iPhone Storyboard. And we're going to make a tabbed application, like I said, and that's going to give us the tab bars at the bottom. And then we'll bolt on in the next video the um, navigation view controller. I'm going to call this Hello World Storyboard for um, lack of originality and click OK. What's going to happen is we're going to come up to an application that if you've done programming, I hope you have, by the way, this is not an intro video on how to use MonoDevelop, but you should have something pretty pretty familiar. We have our app delegate. We have a first view controller and a second view controller. However, the big difference is, like I explained before, no zip files. Instead, we have only one um, file that holds all of our UI stuff called the storyboard file, and this one's Dan's uh, main storyboard. For this uh, video, what I'd like to do is add a third view into it and um, give you basically an, an idea of what's going on. Let me call up the iPhone simulator by clicking the um, debug and show you what it comes out of the box with. And then we'll kind of go over what we want to add. So you can see here we have first view and second view. What we'd like to do is add another button over here called third view and maybe have that like um, be like the about screen or something like that if we're you know designing our application. But basically when we're done, we're going to have three options you can select from down there with a new view. So let's go ahead and quit the simulator. And we're going to start out by adding a code behind file so that we can actually talk to our UI components. Why not required? Um, most uh, programs you're going to write are going to need that. So let's go ahead and do that. How I'm going to do that is um, select our solution here. Hello World Storyboard. Go to File, New, and File. From here, I'm going to go under Mono Touch and I'm going to add in a iPhone view controller. I'm going to call this third view controller. And this is the kind of stick with our naming conventions um, that we kind of came with. Um, I know in the .NET world, a lot of times we like to label these just a little bit more descriptive of what actually is going to be on there. And I highly recommend you do that. Um, but for this particular um, application, we're just doing a demo. So I'm going to keep it with uh, third view controller. Now, instantaneously, you'll see that um, you're probably already going to get upset because you're going to say, wait a minute. Aaron just gave a lecture that, um, you know, third view controller um, would not need a zip file, but yet it just created one. Unfortunately, in um, Mono Develop today, there is no ability to uncheck it, tell it not to make you a zip file. In Xcode, there is the ability to do this. Um, Mono Develop has not put that in yet. So we're going to get the zip file even though we don't need it. So what I'm going to do is, it's okay, you can just remove it. You know, this doesn't harm anything, um, and we can fix the fact that it came with a zip file pretty easily, it turns out. And the advantage of using this, rather than just make it a blank class, is the fact that we have all these overridden methods that come for free when we use this, and we're going to kind of want to abuse those. So you don't have to remember all those if you use this particular um, template, but instead we're just going to remove the stuff that we don't need from it. So I'm going to right-click on that, click Remove. It's going to come with a scary window that says, hey, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, we do. So we're going to click delete. 
Now, the other thing that's going to happen is that the, uh, the constructor call here in the signature, this is wrong. This is based on a signature of using a, um, a zip file, to be honest with you. This is the name of the zip file that you're passing to your um, base class or your parent class, which is of type UI view controller, and it's then going to go try to find that zip file. We don't have one. We have a, a storyboard file. So in order to use storyboards, we need to pass the um, signature of our controller, or constructor, excuse me, in the signature of the constructor, we need to handle it integer pointer, and we need to pass that to our, our base class. So that's pretty easy to add in code here. I'm just going to add in an int pointer, um, pt, there we go. And I'm going to call this handle, and I'm going to go into the base. I'm going to delete everything in here. I'm going to pass it that variable that we just created, handle. And this is how you basically would pass on to the UI view controller, telling it, hey, instead of having UI components that were in this zip file, they're in the main storyboard file. And if you're ever kind of confused about this, you can kind of look at the second view controller that came with it, and you can see that the same concepts are there. Now, of course, in their constructor, they're actually setting the title of the view controller and the image. We'll do that inside of Xcode instead. I really uh, try to stay away from writing code, and I rather, I've, I'm an Object C guy. I like doing everything in Xcode when I can. So we'll do that stuff, and I'll show you how to do all that stuff instead of Xcode instead. I'm going to click Save here, and we're going to call up Xcode by clicking, um, double clicking on the main storyboard, storyboard file, just like in the old days you would with a zip file. When I do that, it does take a few seconds, and you can see that it's um, updating Xcode, and it's calling up that project. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is that when you start using storyboards, your screen real estate is pretty crazy. You don't have a lot of it, especially if you're on, like, a MacBook Air. So the first thing I recommend doing is turning off our um, solution viewer here and get it so we can get more UI um, real estate to play with around with us. The other thing I want to point out is that there's some zoom controls here that can kind of zoom you out and make it so that you can kind of see everything better. And you can see here I have a tab bar controller, a first view controller, and a second view. And it's kind of blurry because of the fact we're zoomed so far out. But if you scroll in, you can start to see that. Um, how it's working is the tab bar controller keeps track of all the different view controllers that we have. And when you click on those icons, it automatically brings up that view controller for us. It kind of pops or pushes that into um, view if you're used to the terminology that we used to use. So how do we add a third view? Because that's our goal of this video. It's pretty darn easy. We're just going to go down to the toolbar or the toolbox down here, and we're going to drag a view controller into our UI view here. Now, of course, we have to drag around on things a little bit in order to fit this guy onto the screen here. And let me kind of just uh, go along here and see. We now have a view controller out in the GUI middle area here. What we need to do is we need to link this view to our code. And how we do that is pretty easy also. It turns out all we have to do is go up in the, the Xcode here. And up here we have some toolbars that allows us to go through and change different things. You should be used to this in Interface Builder, and, uh, or excuse me, Xcode. This used to be called Interface Builder, but now it's, called, um, it's just built into Xcode. Underneath here we have the Identity Inspector. And under there we have a custom class option. And we can see what our class that this view controller is made from. And we don't want to make this a UI view controller. We want to make this from the third view controller that we just created. So if I pull that down and select it, it turns out this guy will now be linked to the C-sharp code file that we just created in Mono Develop called third view controller. To prove that, I can kind of zoom in to the UI components here so we can have this guy see this guy right here. And I can drag a label onto this guy, and then we'll edit that label via code. So I'm just going to kind of zoom in, drag a label here, make it the entire width of the um, of the kind of screen here, It'll automatically tell me that. And we can kind of go through and now link this um, control to a pointer in our code. And you should probably know how to do this already, but under the editor here, I'm going to bring up the show assistant editor. And what happens is it's going to give me two views, which is kind of hard to see because we don't have a lot of screen real estate. But you can see my label here and my code right here. You can kind of drag, um, oops, that's the big A, um, a break point, I want to do that. Um, but the UI is kind of so small here, you can kind of drag this bar right here to make them bigger as you need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on the control key on my keyboard. Now remember on a Mac keyboard, the control key on the bottom is all the way to the left, uh, right next to the function key. I'm going to kind of hold that down and I'm going to drag into my code file. 
And I'm going to drag it in between the word interface and end. And you can see an insert outlet or outlet connection comes up. And we can now name this. We're making a pointer in our C-sharp code that's going to be a public property to this label we just created. I'm going to call this guy um, label hello world. Lack of originality, I realize that. Click the connect button, and now we have a variable. I'm going to close out the editor by simply clicking the first guy here, the original guy that we had up here. And now the last thing we need to do is we need to bolt up so that this guy right here, this view controller that we created, this third view controller, knows how to talk to the tab bar view controller. Let me zoom out so we can kind of see our relationship here. So we can see we have our view down here. We can see we have our tab bar up here. So how we do that is we hold down, or we first select tab bar controller, we hold on the control key, and we drag to the third view controller, the new one that we just created, we let go, and under relationships, we're going to add, um, we're going to click this option here that says view controllers. Now what will happen is, is instantly you'll see this line get drawn, you'll see that the tab bar view controller now has a third icon called item, and if we go down here under our third view controller, Oh, sorry for zooming so fast. Um, you can see I have that third view controller and I have an item now created there. What I can kind of do here is just double click the item and rename it. They were doing that in code, as I showed you earlier in Mono. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to call that third here. So that's the first thing I could do. The second thing I could do is I could actually set the picture actually right here. As you can see under the interface, um, I keep calling it interface builder. I apologize. It is Xcode. Under the uh, attributes inspector, I can select the image and I can see any of the images that I have in this project. I'm just going to select the uh, second PNG um, just because it's there, it's a shape, and just for this demo, I think that that's good. You know, obviously, you want to have your own images stored in your project and call those up in the tab. Um, and if you have problems or you don't know how to do that, I can, I'll do another video and explain that. Let me go to File and Save in Xcode. And we're going to go back to our code, and we're going to change that label's text, and then we'll try all this out, and we should be good to go. So I kind of want to just zoom out and show you that real quickly. You can see here we now have three views um, to our tab controller, and I know it's hard to see. It's kind of blurry, um, but that's just because of screen real estate we have today. You can kind of turn off this guy right here um, to try to get more screen real estate so that you can kind of see things better. Um, you can see there these little icons tell you what kind of connection that you have and we'll see that later with the navigation um, Controller that that makes a big difference when we start talking about pushing and popping of stuff But I'm gonna go to file and save and close out of X or quit out of Xcode and now we're back to our code And our third view controller all I need to do is find the method that actually comes up when um, Our controllers get created and it turns out that's called view to load I know you're thinking, well, wouldn't that be the constructor? But no, um, Apple does things a little bit different. And since um, we have to kind of inherit to the rules of how Apple works, um, we have to kind of do that in this view uh, did load. And that's the reason why I wanted to use that template. So we'd have all these free methods automatically defined in there. And we won't have to think as hard about this. So since we made our pointer to our um, control, our label that we dragged out, we can just simply type in label. Hello world, you see there, I'm going to hit tab to complete that, type in text, I'm going to say, hello world, um, iPhone, storyboard, and kind of put a semicolon there, and we should be able to save in debugger application, and we should now see that our third view controller is up and running, and we have the ability to talk to all three of these, you can see first, second, and third, we renamed that in Xcode. We can see the shape that we put, and we can see our, our, um, our code automatically ran and changed our label text. So there you go. Um, that is how you actually do a um, storyboard to start out with, with just a tab controller. In the next video um, I'm going to put out, I will show you how to add a navigation controller to this project. Thanks for watching.